everyone, my name is Joe Henderson from Joe Henderson Disc Golf and I am here to bring you a 2023 in the bag. First off, I will start off with what bag I use. I use the CX-1 from Grip Equipment. Yeah, I love this bag a lot. It is my go-to bag for anything. I'll start off with my putters. I putt with the P Model S. My brother gave me a handful of these one day and it just, something that stuck and I just kept using them and I really love them. I use the P Model S, the Glow P Model S in the base grip plastic for putting. I have two of those. And then I also have a P Model S and it is in the Duraflex plastic. It's one of the Kale LaVisca models there. And yeah, those are definitely my favorite putters. And this is the one that I use for upshots. Next up, we will go with what I have here in this front compartment. I have two zones. I have my very, very beaten, understable, reliable but understable zone. It's definitely more beat in than my other one. It flies a little bit straighter and I like this for any shot that I want to do an ante line to the basket as well as just a straight shot. And then next up I have another Discraft ESP zone and it is basically a brand new zone for this year so I'm just beating it in, trying to get it to the stability of this one because I just want to have a backup just in case. And this one is much more overstable, so I'm able to use it for some of those shots that I need to go right and need to throw on hyzer for forehand or hyzer for backhand. This would be my disc of choice. Next up, we will open up the main compartment. I'll show you all those beautiful discs. But first, before that, let's kind of move into what's in the side pockets. So in this side pocket, I carry for anything from lip chap to sunscreen to bug spray, I have my phone in there sometimes, I have my Sharpies, all of those kinds of things, kind of like my necessities that aren't food related basically on the course. But that's what I hold in there. And then on this side, I hold extra towels, usually my jacket, I have my, my range finder, my Apex range finder, as well as a whale sack and some food. On this side, these are my slower speed discs, so I'll start from there and then move my way up. My other putter that I have in the bag is actually a ESP Tour Series Fierce. This is from 2023. I love this Fierce. I find that the stability is perfect for me and for my game. It is definitely more understable and it flies a little bit straighter, like it can hyzer flip to the right. But I love this one so much for anything like a downhill shot. Next up, I have a Page Pierce Soul. This is perfect for any shot that I have that goes uphill and any to the right, kind of, if I need it to stay straight. Love this disc, it is great. Next up, I have a Buzz. So this is probably one of, I think it actually is one of my only mid-ranges other than the Soul. I love the Buzz. The Buzz is such a reliable disc. And my favorite plastic to throw the buzz is the ESP Flex plastic. So the ESP Swirl Flex, it is so nice. And shout out to Kevin Heiji. He actually designed this stamp here from the OTB Open and he did this one for them. And yeah, I think it's such a cool, such a cool stamp, such a cool disc. The purple is amazing. And I love, love, love throwing this. I usually throw this, yeah, either on hyzer, it holds the line. I can throw it on any and it holds that line. It is just one of those discs in your bag. I feel like everyone has a mid-range that they love. This is mine. I call this one my grown-up buzz. This is a passion. It basically is a buzz, but just a little bit faster speed and a little bit more glide. I love the passion a lot. I have quite a few of those. If you haven't seen in my disc golf collection, you will see that and I'll link it right up here. But yeah, I have so many, so many passions, but love them. It's a very easy disc. If you're just beginning and you're just learning how to play disc golf, the Passion is the disc for you. Yeah, I usually use this one for either if it's a hyzer flip, I can get it, kind of get it to turn over to, to the right. But here in Canada, where we're from, in Calgary, the elevation is a little bit higher, so I actually mostly throw it straight and have it hyzer. But when I was in the States, it definitely hyzer flipped and rode over to the right a lot more. Next up, I have the Insanity. I'm actually just trying this out but it is the Insanity from Axiom Discs. It is a distance driver. It's similar to my Undertaker, but it is in a much lighter weight. It is in a 163 grams. I'm able to throw it on a flex line and it's able to come back, but it carries the flex a little bit farther. 
So that's a super awesome disc that I love to have in the bag. Yeah, I'm still learning it, but so far it's been amazing and I've gotten many birdies with it. So it's really awesome. And I got that one for my brother-in-law, Charlie. So shout out to you, Charlie. Thank you for grabbing that disc for me. Moving up a little bit, we have some fairway drivers. We have the Roadrunner, which is my most understable, I would say, fairway driver. I can put this on Annie and have it ride all the way to the right and it will hold the line. Sometimes come out of it, but more than often it will just hold the line. I have my Sidewinder, which is my Star Sidewinder. It is such a good disc. You guys, if you don't have a Sidewinder, you gotta get one. This disc is awesome. I can throw flex lines, I can throw Heiser, I can Heiser flip. Uh, it is just like one of those discs that does it all for me. So this is my OG Sidewinder. It's been in the bag for a long time. The next one I have in here is actually the Discraft Undertaker. I have this in the ESP plastic. Honestly, this disc helped me fall in love with the game even more than the Sidewinder. <laughs> you can throw it flat and it will come straight back and it's that perfect stability where it's not too stable that you'll get a ton of skip in ground play but you do have the stability that it'll just come back. I throw it forehand and I throw it backhand. I find either way I throw it, it can hyzer flip and kind of come back or I can put it on a nice flex line and it will come back. So either way, it is just a, a well-rounded disc. And if you're a beginner, this is also a disc that I would recommend to you. It's a super workable disc. These two are kind of my workhorses on the course. If you've played with me at all or if you've seen me, throw any discs at all. These two are definitely in the bag. But this is the Felon. I have this one in the Lucid Plastic. It's very well loved, it's super overstable, it does the job, it knows exactly what it needs to do on the fairway. I throw it both backhand and forehand. For backhand, I like to throw it on hyzer or just flat and just have it come be reliable back to the finish and then for forehand I throw a flex line as well as the hyzer line and either way it is they're great discs. This one is in the fusion plastic slightly a little bit more understable so I can get a little bit more distance with it but also less control. Yeah both of these are amazing I just like to have two in the bag just in case I lose one and yeah they're just great discs. This one was lost for a little bit but glad to have it back. We have the Paul Macbeth Proto Hades. Thank you to Okanagan Disc Supply for hooking me up with this. It has been such an amazing disc in the bag and it has served me so, so well. I like to throw this disc backhand mostly and it is my big distance driver. I like to throw it on those big distance lines that carries and Annie's down and flexes. The odd time I can get it to even turn over to the right and come back, but I like it because it has a little bit of stability at the end, but not a ton. So I can work it to do kind of what I need it to on the course. I would say it's similar to an Undertaker, but just higher speed and a, a bit more distance out of it. I have the Jomez Pro stamped destroyer from Innova. This is the star plastic and it is 168 grams. I love to forehand this disc on those big flex lines. This is my huge distance driver disc. Yeah, it's a fun forehand disc for me to shape lines without on the course. Okay, so my last disc is actually the Latitude 64 Grace in the Royal line, and it is a wonderful, wonderful disc. This is a disc that I've gotten to know over the last year, probably. I have been throwing it all over the course. It is so fun to throw, and I find that I can get some nice big shots with it as well. A little bit more reliable to come back than my Destroyer as well as my Hades. So this is my heavier weight distance driver, and it is in 173 gram, I think. So yeah, that was all of the discs in my bag, everybody. And I am so happy that you came to watch this video. Thank you guys so much for being here. And if you could like, comment, subscribe, do all of those YouTube things that would really help me out and support my channel and what I do here and making content for you. So thank you guys for watching and I would love to know what are the top five discs in your bag. Let me know. Have a good one guys and see you in the next one.